Welcome to the ABCDEF of dose calculation. We're going to be looking at what units our answer ought to be in. Remember that body weight is always in kilograms. The C is concentration or the strength of the medicine. And it's a good habit to be looking at it always in the smallest unit. The D for dose equation. What equation are we going to use given the question and the information that we have? And then lastly, and the most important, is the fit. Does the calculation, the, cal the calculated answer, fit the situation? So we start with A, my answer. The question is, what volume should the nurse draw up? So We've got the nurse, means we're using metrics, volume, liters, milliliters, deciliters, whatever. I am, so we're giving a small volume. So our answer is probably going to be in milliliters. Next is B for body weight. And remember, we have to take that to kilograms. So we have our nine pound. 8 ounce kiddo, and I need to convert that to kilograms. First off though, I have to make these ounces into pounds. So how do I do that? I have 8 ounces here, and I need to know what part of pounds that is. I know that there are 16 ounces in a pound to go from here to here I divide by 2, don't I? 16 divided by 2 is 8 so I'm going to do the same thing here 1 divided by 2 is a half okay so I have my 9 and a half pound kit I need to convert that to kilograms. And I'm going to divide. Remember, I'm dividing because I'm going from pounds to kilograms, and kilograms are bigger than pounds. When I'm dividing fractions, really, I just multiply times the inverse. pounds cross out. So I just do the division. There we go. There's my A and my B. Now we go to C, concentration. My label says that there's one gram of medicine in here. And it says that I should add 3.5 milliliters of diluent. So I have my one gram of solute. I add 3.5 milliliters of diluent. And the label is kind enough to tell us that this new solution will be 250 milligrams of ampicillin per milliliter. So there we go, there's my concentration and it has it so that my unit on the bottom has a one in front of it. Can't get any smaller than that. So D, what's my dose? There it is, 90 milligrams.
equation. What equation am I going to use? Well, I'm going to use desired over half. That's easy for this because it's really straightforward. So my desired dose is my D from my ABCDEF equation. So that's 90 milligrams. What's my half? My half is equal to my C in my ABCDEF. milligrams cross out. Okay, so I've gone through my A, B, C, D, E. What was my A? My A was milliliters, and that's what I have here now. Looks like I'm almost done. Now I have to do my fit. My fit. So the volume that I was supposed to give was 0 0.36 milliliters. Does that seem like a reasonable volume to give to a nine and a half pound kiddo? I am? Yeah, that seems reasonable. What's the other part of that fit? Well, is the kid allergic to it? We don't know, but we don't think so. It doesn't tell us that he is. What about, is the dose itself safe? Well, let's find out. The safe dose range is 75 to 200 milligrams per kilo in 24 hours. So, we have 75 milligrams, right? 75 milligrams per kilo. Times are 4.32. Kilo in 24 hours, and that's our lower limit. And our upper limit. Okay, and I want you to look at this. This equation here, this information here, is a safe dose range for ampicillin. This and this are the safe dose range for ampicillin in this child. And this is in 24 hours. This is 90 milligrams every six hours. So we've got to do one of two things. We have either got to divide this and this by four or multiply 90 milligrams times four. I would always rather do one equation than two. 90 times four equals 360. So that's 360 milligrams that's been ordered for this kid in 24 hours. It's 360, somewhere between 324 and 864. You bet. So then, as I look at my fit, I see that this is a safe volume and this is within the safe dose range. So this medicine and my calculations fit the situation.